You're on a bike. You're so cute. <laughs> what is up? It's like Sunday afternoon and I just honestly took a nap and so did Pinocchio. And I woke up feeling like a million bucks. I was like, I didn't, I just like needed that nap. You ever have days like that? So that's why I look mm, crazy. <laughs> anyway, so today I needed to do something in my closet. Let me just show you. It's easier to just show than try to explain. Okay, so let me turn the camera. So I have my jewelry in here in these top two little drawers. And this is just our closet is uh, we had it made at Ikea. Like you can make it on the computer there. And then Tyler put it all together and it fits in this space so well. I love it. And so I like keeping jewelry in here and I got these things on Amazon to hold some of it, but they slide all around. So I got this sticky tack from the store that actually very similar to what I used to use when I was a teacher. And so I'm going to use, these are technically mounting tabs. They're just little like tacky stuff. I'm going to put them underneath these jewelry things and see if that like solves the problem of them sliding around. We're going to see. So I'm literally getting like a glob of it and just sticking it underneath the four corners. This one's larger. I might do like one there, there, and there. And then on the other side too, I already did these and they're staying really, really well. I am shocked. And another thing I discovered is that this one had like a paper on the back of it. So it was really easy to stick to. So it's really on there. This one is still on there, but it is all felt on the bottom and there was no paper. So it didn't stick to it as well. But once I kind of pressed it into it, it's staying, see what I mean? Like it'll still lift up from it but it's not sliding around and that's the whole point. So this is incredible. I cannot believe I didn't do this like $3 fix sooner. So for dinner tonight, Tyler made some homemade gnocchi. We're gonna just heat up quickly cause it was, it was from a while ago, right? Yeah, and we just froze, froze it. Yeah, so you, it, it was in a past vlog actually, but we can link the recipe below. And then Tyler grabbed a zucchini from our garden. And so I'm gonna roast these just on a sheet pan with some like olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm so excited, it looks so good. And then Tyler has been working hard, or hardly working, uh. <laughs> on new curtains. So our friend Brian, or not curtains, what do you call these? Uh, like yeah. a balance? Um, so he made my wedding dress and like that's what he does. They met in costuming when we were in theater. Okay, anyway. So he made these out of a fabric we picked out and it's like a burlap, but it has like this sheen to it. And I just love stripes like this. I think it is so pretty. It's funny, we've had, when we moved in, the woman had curtains here, but they were black and paisley. And I just, neither one of us were a fan. And so we basically he used the same design of exactly how she had it set up, but with the fabric we wanted. And it looked so nice. Tyler's working on a little bit of it, but I'm just excited. It's gonna take some getting used to like, it's been so bare up there. Yeah, was, we just was, took it down and never replaced it. It was uh, for the baby shower. Yep. That's when I painted the, the kitchen. Yep. And I took them down, we never put them back up. Yeah, you're right. So it's gonna take getting used to to have them, but I think they look so elegant and pretty. I love them. So we are trying a new Alfredo sauce. Um, I kind of tasted it, it's okay. We're gonna see, we're just gonna see. <laughs> I typically like Primal Kitchen, but I honestly didn't see it was no dairy before I bought it, but um, I'm curious nonetheless. And I tend to like a lot of Primal Kitchen stuff, you know? And we've got his uh, gnocchi going. It was a rolling boil and now they're all frozen. So it just takes a minute to cook them a little longer than normal. All right, so eating some dinner. It looks pretty good. How is it? Really good, hot. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like yeah. super, super deep breath. Cheese, you're so silly. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Good. And zucchini. Good, yeah, I've never roasted it like this. It looks really good. And then gnocchi, oh my gosh, this is really, really good. I'm curious about the sauce. I was kind of blogging that I'm not so... so. Oh, happy Tuesday it is. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm in a fall sweater. <laughs> Because even though it's early August, A, it's been a little bit chillier outside. Okay, like I'm talking like 10 degrees, but still, I'll take it. And, sorry, I'm out of breath from going downstairs. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Anyway, um, and, oh, I'm filming the fall FabFitFun box unboxing today. And actually, it's kind of exciting for me personally 
because they've sent me the box for a while. And so I'd usually film a video, but it was never sponsored. Like they were never paying me to do it, but I just like FabFitFun. Like I think it's a cool box. And this will be the first time they're paying me to do it. It's actually a sponsored post and that's exciting for me. I feel like it's something, a box I think is really cool. I genuinely like, and so it, like, I don't know. I guess I'm just sharing, like it feels like a little personal achievement. So I am really out of breath. Am I okay? <laughs> Uh, Tyler made one of my favorite meals, bulgogi bowls. No, oh no, it is bibimbap, okay. They're so similar. Uh, oh my gosh, the smell, the smell. Mm -hmm. It's so, so good. Thank you for making dinner. So I uh, posted on Instagram today asking you guys about like Disney essential oil. I don't even know that they're essential oils, but it's like fragrance oils. Um, and a lot of them, like I asked you guys what company and so many of you guys recommended the Magic Candle Company. And so I think I'm going to look into that and maybe buy one or two like fragrance oils because they're supposed to smell like Disney resorts, like different parts of Disney, different rides. So a lot of you guys recommended the Pirates of the Caribbean one that smells like the like smell of that ride, which I love. And then a lot of you guys recommended like the one that smells like contemporary, smells like Grand Floridian, Polynesian. I'm so torn. I don't know which one I'm going to get, but I don't want to get like a bunch. I want to get like maybe... Well, I started with one or two, and now I'm like, maybe like two or three or four. <laughs> we'll see. Well, good morning. This morning, Gigi and I are watching uh, Meet the Robinsons, which, by the way, if you have not seen it yet, is like one of those like weird movies that's absolutely amazing that no one seems to know about. Uh, you have got to watch it. It is so good. I feel like it was so underrated when it came out. And then Gigi's eating cottage cheese and making a mess because classic. We're having a chill little Saturday, Gigi. We were reading one of her princess books. We were reading Princess and the Frog and she wanted to watch it. And I was like, yes, because I love this movie so much. And then of course we've got this boy. Aw, oh, buddy boy, you can keep sleeping. So I am super pumped. I just got this from uh, the company is Main Street Morgan. I think it was on Etsy or no, maybe it was its own site. Regardless, I ordered this a while ago, like on presale and it's a comfort color shirt. And it says boo to you like the Halloween parade at Disney. And I am pumped and I freaking love long sleeve tees so much. Hold on. I've got a two year old yelling for me. Anyway, just pumped. I had to share that I got this in the mail and I'm so excited to own it. Well, it took me like uh, six weeks to finally do it, but I finally got these trees in. So I've got uh, these right, like white rocks here. I put like pea gravel in to keep them steady. And then I put these white rocks there on top and I think they look pretty good. Again, I prefer to have real trees, but obviously the real trees just did not do well in here. But uh, overall, I think they turned out pretty nice. <laughs> yes. So I had to interrupt you. I, were you vlogging? Yes, so, about the trees. Um, so I was just upstairs and I was vlogging also that she was watching Princess and the Frog and I'm putting laundry away. So anyway, so Genevieve is hungry and it's like about lunch. I'm like, why don't we just go down and eat lunch? And she's like, no, knack, 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 peace. I'm like, all right, we can have a snack. And so I said, okay, well, if you want a snack, give me a kiss. And I always wonder like how much she understands, you know what I mean? And so I'm like, give me a kiss. And she goes, no, mommy, and ran away. I said, all right. And so I walked in the hallway and she's trotting away. And I said, you're not getting a snack unless you give me a kiss. And I thought she's not gonna understand that. So she's back in our room, like whatever. So I'm continuing doing what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm not getting her a snack unless she gets a kiss. <laughs> and so about one minute passes and then she runs back into my room and goes, huh, mommy, mwah, mwah. I'm like, Okay, and so I, we give each other a kiss, and she goes, knack peas? I'm like, yes! yes. She's so smart. I'm like, smart. I didn't know she'd understand it, but she thought about it and was like, I guess it's worth giving my mom a kiss. Ugh, all right, anyway, fine. That's all. That's Those hilarious. look awesome, don't they? Yeah, I think, again, it <laughs> took me way too long to get it done, but it, uh, I'm glad that it's things. done now. I need, to, I need to get a hose out, like, and actually hose this stuff down because it looks pretty good. I think the pretty. white rocks make it, they, they just look so good. Yeah, I, I think it kind of sets blue, off the blue, you know, the, like the royal blue of those and then the green there. Mm -hmm. I think it, yeah, not bad. Oh, and especially, like, if we're sitting down at the table, it gives us a, like, you know, it gives oh, us sort of that privacy. Yeah. Not quite as, as, as tall as the other ones, like, when we're standing up, but overall. I was going to say, us... well, they'll grow. Nope. Nope, not quite. <laughs> no, they won't. And now, watching the garden grow.
This has been Watching the Garden Grow! Well, good morning, boys and girls. I was going to show you guys some of the uh, the stuff I've been pulling off of my garden. Also, uh, a tree fell in our front yard. Uh, so if you hear chainsaws and stuff, that's they're out there cutting it up right now. So that's what that noise is in the background. Um, but I wanted to show you guys here, I've been pulling off a decent amount of the larger tomatoes, um, but it's really just now starting to, there, there's, a, there's quite a few on there. Um, but they're just now starting to turn red. And so this one here, you can see is a little bit darker red. And normally I wait till they're about this red or even a little darker to pull them off. And they're a little bit soft to the touch. These are a little bit underdone in my opinion here. Um, but they, I wanted to get them off so that I can start to focus on the other ones that are out there too. Because as I pull these off, it'll focus on the other tomatoes that are still on the vine. Um, the cherry tomatoes are going crazy. I pull this many off like every few days. Um, I mean, they are doing awesome. And I love cherry tomatoes. They're one of my favorites. Uh, cucumbers are doing really well. I pull a couple off a week and I have like four jars of pickles in the uh, refrigerator right now. Uh, by the way, if anyone has any good pickle recipes, uh, let me know. I literally Googled it. I've never done like refrigerator pickles. And so I did it for the first time this year and I just literally pulled the first one I found off of uh, Google and it's pretty good, um, but I'm sure there's a lot of really good pickle recipes out there. Dill is my favorite, but I'll try some sweets too. Um, so if you all have any good like dill pickle recipes, let me know for refrigerator pickles. Now, technically these are not uh, pickling cucumbers, um, I didn't realize until this year that there were two different kinds. There's pickling, pickling cucumbers and then there's regular cucumbers. I planted regular. Um, and the problem is <laughs> I like cucumbers. Jessica does not. And I'm getting a couple of weeks. So I've been eating a ton of cucumbers <laughs> recently and uh, I was doing them like with hummus and stuff. Um, but I'm like, you know what? I know they're not the right kind technically. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in the, uh, and try and pickle them. And you know what? People were like, oh, don't even try and pickle them. They're going to be so bad. Uh, they're still really good. So... <laughs> The, uh, they, they were like, oh, they're going to just become mush and this, that, and the other. They're actually really good. So I think if you have the regular kind of cucumbers or the normal whatever cucumbers, um, you still can pickle them. And even though people say you can't, uh, I've had very good luck with it. Next year, I will, however, plant actual pickling cucumbers. I've also been getting a decent amount of zucchini and yellow squash. Yes, I know, Pinocchio. I know you're hungry. Just wait one second. I've been pulling a decent amount of the zucchini and the yellow squash off, and we've usually just been, like, putting them in the oven and roasting them. Like, that's what we did last night, and they're really good. I haven't been getting a ton, though. Maybe, like, one every two weeks from both plants, and I feel like they're supposed to be pretty prolific, and they're not this year. And I know, like, my mother-in-law said that her zucchini and yellow squash are also not doing well. I see you're so sad over there. I said, boys, I'm starving. Um, so like I said, my mother-in-law said hers are not doing as well this year either. So I don't know if it's something in the, the weather this year that they're not doing as well, or if maybe her and I just both have bad luck with it. The ones that are coming off are great. It's just, I feel like they're supposed to be a lot more prolific than they have been. So, um, that's, uh, that's one thing I'm hoping next year. And then everything else like eggplant and that kind of stuff, they're all coming in, but I'm not going to pull those off until I'm actually about to use them. Um, but these we go through like one or two a day. So I went ahead and pull these off and then they're just already in the kitchen ready to go.